You are welcome to World Changers Network with Wale Adewumi. You are this works like magic. It works in my life. I've experienced it, experienced it several times. Sometimes as human, I do feel down, fallen, near depression when certain issue seems not to be working as expected. But there is one thing that you that works for me every now and then and it works for other people and i believe it will work for you whenever i'm about falling into a depressed state or frustrated of a situation i always start doing this and i want it to become your habit to counting my blessings no matter how bad the situation may be in your life no matter what you are going through no matter the circumstance trust that there are things working out for you trust that you have advantage over some things you have some resources that are peculiar to you you have some special strength working for you you have a special family yours could be a special family standing by your side yours could be your educational qualification to some other person is a career one thing about the goodness of God is everything cannot be stacked against you in life. Something must be working for you. And whenever you begin to count your blessing, there's something that about the power of gratitude. It begins to multiply your strength. It begins to multiply your comeback. It begins to multiply the opportunities that comes your way. This is why you should never be bereaved of the good things happening around you. The trouble with the man giving one talent is he failed to see the beauty of the one talent. He was looking and comparing himself to the man with ten talents. He was looking and comparing himself with the man with uh, five talents. He failed to appreciate the one talent he has. He went to bury it. That is how many of us live. Because we don't have a car, we bury the talent of a complete health body system, opportunity to provide for our family. Because we don't have uh, a relationship working, we fail to count on the blessing of the career we have. By so doing, we bury the talent. The Bible says, he that think he does not have, they should take that which he has and give to those that believe they have. The problem and sorrow of people that disdain what they have is that what they have often are being taken away and given to others. This is why if you are not careful, you find out that what you have is taken away. We have some people that have good health. Because of what they don't have, <laughs> they end up depressed. Some ended up becoming uh, uh, ending up with high BP, blood pressure, some decay, paralyzed. You know, you get to it. And they find out that what they even had initially also were taken away. That good job will be taken when somebody is paralyzed. Some people's good marriage will be taken away when they are incessantly bedridden or sick so that you will not lose what you have. Learn the art of gratitude. Before rounding up this video, I will give us a examples from the scripture of the power of gratitude. A man died, he was a prophet, leaving a wife. I believe what led them there is they did not appreciate the things they had. The woman ran down to prophet Elisha. He taught him the secret. He said, what do you have in your house? She said, she has a jar of oil. The man said, that is enough. Whatever you have is enough to steer the miracle. That is enough. Lord, help us to realize until we have, so that we can multiply the miracles of the things we don't have. In the name of Jesus. That 
when the woman got to that same jar of oil multiply into barrels of oil. That was the miracle of appreciating what we have. When we look through the Bible also again, we can see the, ten, uh, the story of ten lepers. They went to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ healed them of their leprosy. Their body were clean of leprosy. The others went away. They didn't really count it as significant. They felt we were healed, but all our limbs have gone. And what is that? One said, thank God I'm alive. Thank God I'm here. Thank God I can mingle with other human beings in my neighborhood. He went to Jesus Christ and appreciate and said, thank you for healing me. Jesus Christ called him, come forward. Jesus Christ told him, others were healed, but you will be made whole. Jesus Christ said, behold, behold. Immediately, the broken limbs came back to our life. Every lost part of his body came back whole with beautiful skin. Because he appreciates Jesus Christ, he thanked Jesus Christ for what he has. When you thank God for what you have, a missing link, the lost glory will come back to you. Lord, we thank you for every good thing you have done for us, for giving us sound mind, for giving us good body, for giving us phone or gadget to even view what is being discussed. Thank you because we, our case is not the worst of the worst. We say thank you, Lord. The last example is our Lord Jesus Christ. He was teaching in the wilderness. People were hungry. Things were not as they should. Uh, sorry, people were hungry because they had been with him for three days. And for them to go back to the city, some of them might faint. Jesus Christ said, where do we have enough food to feed this lot? A small boy had a small basket of fish and loaves. Jesus Christ said, that is enough. It was taken up and Jesus Christ lifted it up to God in thanksgiving and said, thank you, Father, because you always answer me. Immediately, the loaves of bread and the fish began to multiply and it fed the thousands of people. If you and I will begin to show gratitude for the goodness of God in our lives, there will be great quantum of multiplication that will astound our mind. Let this attitude be, be, begin new forms of miracle, new opportunity being open to you, new corridor of strength, uh, of strength, of glory, enlightenment, let it, that it might begin with you, just because you begin to show gratitude. Gratitude, as you show it, will multiply the favor of God in your life. I want us to lift up our hands and say, Lord, we thank you for the gift of life, for the diverse blessings that we have. Thank you, but because those areas of this, I will be met. Thank you, Lord, because you always answer us. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. My name is Wale Adewumi. I want to like our channel, subscribe, subscribe to it, and share this video so that it can help somebody. This series was produced to help as many people face one challenge or the other. And I hope you want us to bless many and help them up the game and be delivered. God bless you. Buy beautiful books by Wale Adewumi on Amazon.com.